Dana Johnson and today I'd like to share with you a recipe for cheesy macaroni salad. Myself, I'm a big fan of cheese, so this recipe is going to be a lot of fun for me because I get to use some cheese. So I'm going to start out with one cup cooked little tiny seashell macaroni and I got it down to room temperature by just putting cold water on it as I don't want to melt the cheeses for the cheesy macaroni salad. This is only going to make, oh, excuse me, about two to three servings. So feel free also with this recipe to double it, triple it, quadruple it. So the one cup of the pasta. I'm going to use two eggs. And I'm using Eglin's Best. These are hard cooked peeled eggs, already done. Wonderful, very convenient. And I'm using an egg slicer on the horizontal and on the vertical makes it into a dice. Egg number two. And I am a really, really huge fan of cheese. I don't know if you are, but if you've, you're looking at this video, 10 to 1 says that's it for sure. So I have about a, a little more than a quarter cup of some grated cheese. I have Monterey Jack and cheddar. Oh, as I'm watching this come together, the first thing that comes to mind, ha, ah, Danalicious. <laughs> That's what I call Danalicious when you have all these wonderful ingredients incorporated together. I also, again, love cheese. Gonna use some crumbled blue cheese. And I'll probably use about a quarter cup. Super cheese here. And feel free to use any cheeses that you have in your fridge making this salad. Put in all your favorites. Moving on next, I'm going to use the mayonnaise. I'm just going to use a quarter cup. Cheese and mayonnaise, I swear they just go together. They have their own little marriage. <laughs> also gonna use some prepared yellow mustard, about a teaspoon. And there's so many wonderful flavors already incorporated in here. I'm just going to use a little bit of parsley to add color and enhance the flavor slightly, but I really don't want to add any more seasonings. Ah, oh, there's my parsley. And there's already so much salt in cheese to begin with, so you definitely don't want to add that. But if you wanted to, at the end you can top it with some black pepper. Wonderful flavors in this bowl all coming together. And be sure to get to the bottom of the bowl to make sure all of your ingredients are well coated. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make the cheesy macaroni salad. And you might want to serve that with some ham, some burgers. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Everything goes with macaroni and goes with the cheese. So I hope you enjoy this recipe for the salad. And for more recipes, please see me at danasfamilykitchen.com.